I'm losing myself. I can't just sit and not say hi to anyone. Triggered! Say hi to everyone, Elder Dragon. Alright, are you guys ready? We're gonna fight Zephon. He's less annoying than his... his offspring? He's certainly easier. Here he goes. That was straight up an anus. Stefan, your visage becomes you. It's an appropriate reflection of your soul. And you are not his handsome Raziel anymore. His precious firstborn son turned betrayer. You have missed so many changes, little Raziel. Look around you. See how the humans are those boobs? Uh, kinda. Indeed. My body, a cocoon of brick and granite from which to watch a pupating world. A crevice in which to cower, only scuttling from the shadows to devour a victim already ensnared in your cowardly trap. But you've made the mistake of leaving me unbound, and it is you who must succumb to my will. Will, instinct, reflex action. The insect mind finds little difference. I warn you, brother. As my stature has grown, so it is matched by my appetite. Step forward, morsel. So this is our brother Zephon. Let's murder him. Uh, so I talked over it when he said that, but he essentially said the silent cathedral is in a is his body. He's gone and fused with it. Whoa. Supposed to take out his arms like that. Oh, I just took out two of them. Sweet. Too bad I can't attack in midair. Come on. Yeah, let's let's take out his arms first. <coughs> that thing looks like a fucking anthill turned sideways. I mean, it kind of is. Alright, we've taken out his arms, now I think we have to coax him into a laying an egg or whatever the hell that thing is. Come on, brother. We don't really need the Soul Reaver for this fight. I mean, we needed it to take out his arms, but that's it. Did you stick the glowy glowy sword in that hole? I mean, I'm trying to. Oh, okay, that's what you do. And now he lays- now he lays an egg. Ow! Oh, jeez, okay. Light it on fire and throw it! I wonder what happens if we go into the spectral realm here. Okay, we, we definitely don't need the Soul Reaver for this fight. Shove it right in there. Rah! One more, I think. One more should do it. I'm gonna shove my fist in your badge. Which I've just gone and clipped through. Oh, well. You killed an innocent child. I don't think that's an egg. I don't know what it is, but it's not an egg. bestowed on you a new gift. Like his vampire spawn, you are able to scale certain walls which are otherwise impassable, but only in the physical realm. In the spirit world, these insubstantial edifices will not support you.
Level up! Yeah! Yeah, we have the ability to climb walls now. In the mountains beyond the pillars, Nosgoth's cataclysms have exposed an ancient crime. Endowed with Zephon's soul, you may now progress where your path was hitherto impeded. Yeah, got it. We're not gonna do that this week, though. He always talks like that. He's always like, "It thus armed, you can now head to the play head to where your path was previously hindered." And he always uses it. And he always has like different synonyms for the same thing. It's ah, uh, dial. It. Get, I swear the dialogue gets better in Soul Reaver too. His pudding tastes like miracles, indeed. Oh, we're gonna save. But now that we're not gonna go do the next thing yet, instead, now that we have Zephon's climbing, wall climbing ability, we're first gonna go, um, now it's gone this way. Yeah, this way. BRB or go to go, depending on how long I'm gone. All right, see you when you get back, Elder Dragon. There's 20 minutes of the stream left. We might go slightly over. I believe in miracles. Where are you from? You sexy thing, sexy thing, you. Uh, have I gone backwards? Am I go- Okay, no, I haven't gone backwards. Oh, yes. Stop, just stop. I believe in miracles. Where are you from? You sexy thing, sexy thing, you. Oh, well, bye. Oh, okay, you're not gonna be here when the 20 minutes is up. Fair enough. Alright, thanks for stopping- thanks for stopping by, Elder Dragon. I'll see you next time. <laughs> okay, we need- we- we can get two health upgrades now. So, let's go do that. Better touch the glowing green thingies. Green always means good. What, these? This is health, but I'm on full health, so I don't really need it. But sure, I'll eat them anyway. Alright, we might have time for the, um... For the stone glyph. So I guess let's... Let's do it! Why not? We'll go slightly over. Health! Well, part one of five. We need five more. Uh, let's, let's go this way. Eat it! Ooh, look, a Chaos Emerald. Not really. Has anyone here actually played this game besides Kathleen and Ash? Eat the cheers! Ah, <laughs> uh, you guys are great. Nope, sorry. Okay, well, basically, collect five of those, get a health upgrade. We just- that was our sixth one, so we've already gotten an increase in health. You dick! How dare you dodge me! Looks cool though, I wanna. It's really good. I'm streaming- I'm gonna stream like three of them because I don't have access to- I don't have access to the fourth game and I guess the- when did Blood Omen 2 come out? Oh well, in either sense, in- anyway, we're- we're gonna be doing Soul Reaver, which is this. Soul Reaver 2 and Legacy of Cain Defiance. I've- I'll- I gave a- I'll give a quick rundown on Blood Omen. And Blood Omen 2 we don't really need. <laughs> So, yeah, um... Shit, which way is it? Is it this way? God damn it, we don't have the Soul Weaver anymore. Hacks good! Okay. And... Yeah, this is the right way. There's one more over there. Whoa! Nope, don't go in the water. Actually, the stone glyph is this way. Uh, let's just kill ourselves. Uh, if 
I can remember how to get there. Sorry, I apologize for the sniffing, by the way. I think it's this way. Is there dragons and fire in this game? If so, I like it. Not really, it's... it's vampers. Okay, is it this way? No, this is where the force cliff was. No, this isn't right either. Uh, what I will do though, uh, what I will do though, is stand on this. Get my magics back. Okay, this isn't correct. Uh, is it that one? Damn, good enough. Yeah. Our main character here, Cooper Raziel, this guy. He was a vampire. His body was destroyed because he was cast into a lake of eternal hellfire. Maximum edge. But, um... <laughs> yeah, that happened. Okay, no, wait, no, this isn't right either. And so now he's been he's been resurrected as a wraith. He's essentially a zombie vampire. Isn't that maximum edgelord? But nah, it's, it's pretty cool. Uh, is it... Okay, it is, it's this way. I remember now. Damn, Hellfire, awesome. Yeah. Speaking of Hellfire, Tony J is in this game. You know the godly voice that's been telling us what to do? That is Tony J, the voice of Frollo from Hunchback of Notre Dame. So, you know. Like fire, Hellfire, this fire in my skin. Just make him dress in black and red, and then you have a major edgelord. Fair enough. What does that make me then? Because I like to dress in black and blue. Here we go, okay. Alright, let's do the stone glyph. Also, there's Melchiam in here. I guess I guess that makes sense. It makes me a cool person. Well, thank you, Bella. You're also awesome. Because blue and black are cool colors. Yeah! Is there pink sparkly dresses? Nah, nah, there's not. Speaking of cool black clothes, check out this t-shirt. You can't read it because it's mirrored, but it says I solemnly swear I'm up to no good. Yeah, that happened. So, this location, that was an easter egg for Blood Omen, because I haven't played Blood Omen, I've only read, like, the wiki. What the hell? Die! Oh my god, okay. How about unicorns that vomit up flowers? No, that's not here either. Ah, oh, screw it, I'm gonna, go, I'm gonna go to the spectral world. There better be some goddamn conduits here. But yeah, this area is Nup Raptor's Keep. If you were here at the beginning during my ramble, Nup Raptor is the guardian of mind. He's the one who went insane after Ariel died. And this is presumably where his boss fight took place in Blood Omen 1. Hey, look, Skeletor's place. Hey, Jay, welcome to the stream. I've, ne I've actually never seen you here before. Man, you never come to my streams. What the fu- No, I'm, I'm, I'm joking. I give this game 1 out of 10 for 0 for no fucking unicorns. Fair enough. Unicorns, though. Okay, luckily this is here, so... Even if we take a hit, we're good. You never invite me, duh. Dude, you can come whenever you want. Obviously. Oh yeah, this is- I forgot this is what Melkine do. They burrow around under the ground. Stop that. I like the sword thingy. What, the- the lightsaber that I have? Where is he? 
Oh, you know what? It doesn't even matter. Oh, that guy got impaled. Actually, you know what? I want health, so where the hell? Oh yeah, when they come up out of the ground, that counts as an attack for reasons. <clears throat> I didn't even get health back from that. Yeah, we're gonna go slightly over two hours, but who cares, that's fine. Sword back. Whoa! Cool. You can. You guys can spend watch spend the next twenty minutes watching me do an, another another obnoxious sliding block puzzle. Lips, lips. Well, you heal the damage you took. Indeed. That's- that's a plus. Shank those bitches. Jay, have you played Soul Reaver? Or Blood Omen? Or any of the Legacy of Kane games? Make sure to rip their heads off. That's not a thing you can do. I'm sorry. Uh, wait a minute. Okay. I'm here now. Okay, up here. And now Spectral Realm? And then... Oops. Ugh. Sneak. Sneak so I don't fall. No, I've seen them never play it. Ah, fair enough. They're awesome games. Okay, if I jump... Hold on. There's one somewhere. Oh, it's over there. All right. What, you can't rip their heads off? This is a PS1 game. But should have... But should have from how he clings like Spider-Man on walls. Only certain wall though, walls, though. Only climbable walls. Not all walls are climbable. I'm a cookie, motherfuckers. Wait, how do I get... Where? Ah, oh, goddammit, I forgot how to do this. Oh, wait, no. Do I... I think I go back to the physical world now. Ah, uh, nose itches. Ah. Then can I have a cookie? No! Aha! Okay. Got it! Just burn. Okay, that wasn't far enough. Burn? Oh my god. He's, he, I, I don't think I can throw him into that. Ah. Oh. Okay, that, that, that works, I guess. I impaled him on things. Infamous did Parker right. Legacy of Kane. Kill them, kill them, search, then block puzzles. Exactly. It looks kind of cool how uh, the Soul Reaver is still like coiled around your arm even when you're holding a weapon. Actually, I'm gonna let him hit me and then I'm gonna stun him. 
Just so I can do this. This is this is satisfying as all shit. All right. Chuck him. Pick him up again. And chuck him! Oh, is that not sunlight? My bad. Damn, I thought that counted as sunlight. I have like a bunch of notifications on my phone. Damn it. Alright. Here. What is that sound? Block puzzle time! Are you guys ready for this? See these repeating patterns on the walls and the gaps in them? We have to fill those gaps. We're gonna start from the top. I throw them off the cliff instead. Yeah, but then I won't get health. Alright, so these ones here, these blocks are these are just corners, they're fixed. And this, this one... Oh, joy puzzles indeed. Now this one, this one is just a blank, bl this, this is just a box, there's no, it has no faces. We want the ones with actually something actually drawn on them. So we gonna do that. Got that one. And this one, however, this one does have some, this one does have a face on it. Plays Tetris, Tetris music. I wish this was like Tetris. All right, so oh hey, this actually fits. Okay, so I think I think the middle one goes over here. Yeah, yeah, it does. Okay. So just gotta grab this. Such classy PS1 era music. It's like I'm back and jamming to Chrono Cross, indeed. Alright, so we need to flip this. Over here. Nope. Oh, this puzzle made me realize I w that that I wish there was a way to just continuously push this instead of going one at a time. Where is the hole anyway? It's there. God, that's a question you don't want to ask. Where's the hole? Oh, no, it's it's here. Okay. That satisfying clicking sound. And I think is it this one? Chrono Cross is good, but is Legend of Dragon good? That's the question. Okay, this is this this just straight goes in there. Oh, but is it Legend of Dragon good? I don't know. I haven't played either of those games. All right, now this one. Actually, before we do anything, let's just knock this one down. And then, yeah, this one, uh, just drag it, and, yeah, this way, then, this way, We gotta push it all the way over there. <coughs> Excuse me. 
Okay, good. We're gonna we're gonna do that one last because it's more satisfying. Okay, so we've gotten those we've gotten those ones. So now we need to do the ones down here. So this one. for here. So, I think. Oh no, is it there? No, it's, it's okay. Got it. So it's this way. I have the strangest feeling that I've done this wrong. Nope, that's fine. And then there's one up here. I don't know why it's here, but fuck it. Where's its face though? What side? Okay. Oh man, chat, you guys must be like really bored watching this. Everyone stop talking because of how boring this is. I see. I mean, I don't blame you. I can't even check how many viewers we've got because it requires me to turn around and look at my laptop. Is it over? Oh, it isn't. God damn it, Jay. Fine. It's okay. Last one. That's why I save these for the ends of the end of the stream. It's a wind down from the massive boss we just fought. Would be better with some replayability. Uh, I wouldn't know. I've not played it. You guys can discuss that in the comments below. <laughs> I mean, if you want, go ahead. Pandering. It shattered before it hit the hammer even hit it. That's fine. Uh, where is it? Here it is. Up. My eyes! <laughs> Now 
now we have the stone glyph. It encases enemies in stone. It also makes them really stonkin' high. No, I'm kidding. Uh, here we go. The stone glyph. Look at that. Encases enemies in stone, makes them immediately stunned. And as you can see, our magic counter has gone up by two. It's now four. Because this, this costs one. This costs two points to use. You know what? Let's use it on someone. Oh, let's save first. Uh, if I jump down there, will I just be able to... Hey! So that's how you get to number up this keep. Also, I'm pretty sure there's a health piece up there. Yeah, there's, there's, there's just straight up a health piece over there. How do I get to it? And there's still Malkaia's flag there. Oh, there's a wall there. That's how. Okay. Yeah, let's get it. You, random citizen, let me come stone you. What the fuck? Oh, jeez. <sighs> okay. That's strange. How do I get up there? There's gotta be a way to get up there. Alright, we'll give it one more shot. If I can't figure it out, then, not, then we'll just call it a stream. And we'll show off the stone glyph next time, I guess. I mean, apparently you can use the glyphs. I love how the camera's just zooming more and more in on me. There, how, what, how? Shit, 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 shit. I guess I need the... I need telekinesis, I guess? Which we don't have yet. So I guess we'll have to do that later. On that ice, okay. Alright, not yet, I guess. In that case, let's go back to the Sanctuary of the Clans and uh, give our new ability a test run. Give it a test run, and then we'll call it a stream. Yeah. Uh, this way. Um, what are you again? You're a Duma him. When I say it turns them to stone, what I actually mean is it just petrifies them. There's no actual stone texture. But that's fine. Luckily, invincibility frames while doing that. So that's fun. We're also out of magic, but that's okay.
first. We we have full health, so instead we'll replenish our magic. May you find peace here, Raziel. Oh, thank you. I don't think she's ever said that to me before. That's okay. In fact, let's have a proper talk to her. Like a corpse in a shallow grave, corruption rises to the surface. Beyond these pillars, the defiled victim mutely screams its outrage. Right, and we will figure out what that means next time. So, we'll go to the thank you screen and hang out for a few more seconds. Or a few more, yeah, a few more seconds. Yeah, we'll hang out for a bit more. There we go. <clears throat> Sorry about that, just had a drink. But yeah, that was fun. Thank you guys for st stopping by. That was, that was awesome. So yeah. Next week, I think... Oh, where, what are we What are we doing next week? We're doing this, but like... Actually, no, I'm not, I'm not going to spoil it, even if I figure it, even if I remember. So yeah, with that, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Like and comment if you did. Don't forget to subscribe or share with your friends if you want. All that stuff really helps my channel out. And please consider supporting my Patreon. It's per month rather than per video. Every little bit helps. And I will see you guys next week. Bye!